Martin Luther King Jr., a man who had a dream. Martin Luther King Jr. was a very significant American. One of his major accomplishments was being a very important person in the Civil Rights Movement. Martin Luther King Jr. was born January 15, 1929. Martin Luther King Jr. grew up in Atlanta, Georgia, living in his grandmother's house during the Great Depression. He also shared a room with his uncle growing up. Martin Luther King Jr. learned about racism from a very early age. When he was a young boy, his best friend's dad, who owned the local grocery store, said he couldn't play with his kid anymore because he was black. This made him very mad, and he went home and cried to his parents about it. Later, they explained to him that some white people didn't treat black people fairly because of their skin color. This event shaped who he, who he would become in the future. Here are some pictures to show you some of the signs that were out there. Martin Luther King Jr. was born on January 15, Martin Luther King Jr. was riding home on a bus after winning a speech contest in Georgia. A white person got on and demanded he give up his seat and give him the seat. This made him very upset and helped shape who he would become in the future. In 1948, Martin Luther King Jr. went to Morehouse College to continue his education. After years of college, Martin Luther King Jr. decided he wanted to be a Baptist minister. His dad said that he could preach at his church. This was also the church that Martin Luther King Jr. grew up in. The way Martin Luther King Jr. got involved in the Civil Rights Movement was he was offered a job as the lead spokesperson for the bus boycott. Thanks to Martin Luther King Jr.'s great speaking skills, he was able to help organize the bus boycott. The bus boycott wasn't only about getting people to be able to sit wherever they wanted on the bus, but it was also a symbol that helped symbolize that no matter what you looked like on the outside, every, God created all men equal. After the bus boycott, Martin Luther King Jr. got very involved in the civil rights movement. He started giving lots of speeches and lectures about how all men should be treated equal. There were many people who extremely hated Martin Luther King Jr. This led to vandalization of his property and death threats. Despite the death threats and constant vandalization of his property, Martin Luther King Jr. still tried his best to give African Americans equal rights. His biggest and most known speech, which touched the hearts of most Americans, was his I Have a Dream speech. Thousands of people came to watch, and millions more watched on television, though there were still some who hated it. Some quotes of Martin Luther King Jr. said are as follows. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. I have decided to stick with love. Hate is too great of a burden to bear. Finally, in 1968, Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated. Even after Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated, and equal rights were granted to African Americans, there are still people who hate African Americans. One of the main groups is called the Ku Klux Klan. Martin Luther King Jr. is a significant American because he changed many people's minds about segregation and racism, which helped the Supreme Court decide that racism was un and segregation was unconstitutional and therefore should be stopped and made illegal. The difference between being famous and significant is being famous means that you're just well known and being significant means that you're well known for doing something good. 
It is important to study the life of significant Americans so you can learn from what they did and learn from their mistakes and help make the world a better place by adding on to what they did. The facts that significant Americans have had on my life and other people's lives are they have made more things open to us, helped give us more rights, and helped make our life easier today.